Well, it's Friday fun day at the Little Art School and we are going to a galaxy far, far away. So we hope you really love these. We've got two and they're both great. Baby Yoda for juniors and Darth Vader for the seniors. So definitely have a go at both these over the weekend because we think that you're all gonna love them and we can't wait to see your pictures. So let's get drawing. <laughs> Darth Vader here in my watercolour sketchbook and the reason why I'm going to do it in here is because I've used watercolour um, paints on here I've used a watercolour pencil to get the effect that I wanted so you need the proper watercolour paper to be able to do that and you can see on the other side I've just finished doing filming the baby Yoda for the um, juniors but here we're going to draw Darth Vader so we're going to start by going think finding the middle of the page so if we go about there for the middle of the page and I'm going to go up slightly, maybe about a centimetre of that, and I'm going to draw a line that's on a sort of very faint diagonal, very mild diagonal there like that. And from that line, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to do a curve. This is actually, he's good, will turn into his shoulder. So that's a curve there on that line. And I'm going to take that all the way down to there. That's the edge of his cloak. So that's the first line. This one here, this line, I'm going to take up. It's not a curve, actually. Just a very short line like that. And then up. And then I'm going to join it in as if it's a line. So if I've got a line coming across there, then we're going to break that with a line coming in. This will be the start of his head. Coming down like that. And what you'll be able to do is when you come to pause it, that's kind of slightly too high. When you come to pause it, you'll be able to just pause it and do all these shapes. So I'm going to come up like that again on a diagonal because he's sort of standing in a, 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 um, with his head slightly cocked like that. So we've got another line down here. It's not exactly the same as that diagonal. It's just slightly different. Right, let's take it up here. A little dot. And now this is the shape we're going for. I was about to say like an upturned plant pot, but that does not sound Darth Vader evil, does it? I think I've gone too high, so I'll come down to there. Darth Vader, Darth Vader and the upturned plant pot. No, it does not fit. Sorry, apologies, Star Wars fans. Right, so there we go. We've got that shape here and then that one down and there. So I'm going to come here now and I'm going to take the sh that line right down here take the cloak down to there and there and then out actually off the page like that because it sort of sweeps it out so now I'm going to come in here this might seem quite odd but stick with me because it always works in the end and we're going to put in a triangle and that is the negative shape because on either side of the triangle we're going to form the arms so there we've got that and then down and just a small line here down, probably take that triangle slightly in, and a small line down and across. Now here I'm gonna put a line, and up there I'm gonna put a line. This is actually becomes where, what, what turns into his gloves. But if you, rather than thinking hands and arms, just think shapes. And I would do this even if I was doing a portrait or, and I was thinking about an eye, I would just be thinking shapes and where does it match? And then from there, we're going to finish it with just one line down. So there are our first shapes. Oh, I've got one more shape here. So coming from up there, about halfway down the line and down like that. And there are our first few shapes. So on this one here now, what we're going to do is we're going to start at the top. Um, you'll see when you when I uh, when you pause it, this is this is what's going to come up. So you can see that's the red. That's what you've put in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to come round like that. So don't worry. When you pause it, you'll be able to see all those those two red lines. Everything else we're just going to adapt slightly. So we've come down here like that, and then we're going to kind of come up to there and take it like that. 
And it's the same on the other side, but we're not taking it out at all from there. We're just gonna come straight down here like that and down. There's that really distinctive edge to his helmet there and we'll bring that line across there. And then in the middle, we're gonna just put two lines. And what I'm gonna do is get rid of that line there. So already it looks slightly more Darth Vader-ish, I think. Now here, what you've got is a really small shape like that. I think it's where he talks from. I'm not going to pretend to be a, 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 an expert in, I need to get rid of that line, in um, Star Wars at all. Although, obviously, I think I saw my first Star Wars film when I was about six. But still, it's never been my big cup of tea, but my kids love it. Right, so coming around here like that. We're going to leave this very sharp because it's not a normal, it's not a net face, it's a mask, isn't it? So we've got that there. Coming down here, just don't question it too much, just pop in the shapes. We've got a shape there and we've got another shape there. Coming from his cape now, what I want you to do, because the cape kind of sits at the top, is bring it round to there, just to where that line meets. And then there we're going to come up slightly to the arm like that. And the same here. So we're going to come down and bring that cape line round so it meets the edge of that arm there, like that. This line we're going to leave untouched. Now here in this triangle, he's got on his chest, I'm slightly nervous about even talking about this because I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm going to have Star Wars fans out there going, oh, for goodness sake, it's quite obvious what it is. But we've got this kind of rectangle shape here and I want you to put in this pattern two lines and an edge coming around there like that we're going to rub out that line that guideline that we drew for ourselves there put those shapes back in and the last thing we're going to do at this stage is we're going to pop in the lightsaber and i want the lightsaber to come to here so we've got there's the lightsaber handle i've actually got sitting on top of my artist best friend stroke kitchen roll i've got darth vader's lightsaber it's just over there, I'll bring it out next. So coming there, we've got that shape and then I want two lines coming right out. So let's make it really long because this is gonna be a real feature of the painting. So there's a real flash of color in the painting. So we've got the lightsaber coming out there. And if you pause, that's all we're gonna do at this stage. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to add in some um, details which will help us when we start to come to paint it. So you can see here on the helmet we've got these shapes. It is actually all black but it's where the light is hitting it. So what we're going to do is just put in a few shapes which will help us when we come to paint it. So we've got a line coming there and we've got a sort of triangle shape there and a couple of small bits. A little bit there. It really is just a few shapes that will give us a bit more interest so it's not just a mass of black. There's two lines there. Now his eyes, they're obviously not eyes really, they're just on the mask where the eyes can come out. We've got this sort of shape here. One, this, these are the bits where we'll do the most black. And then two. And then I'm actually gonna move that slightly up so that underneath what I've got room for is this triangle, It's a triangle this is where he speaks through and it's got those lines here, which we'll bring out. And a couple of lines coming up there like that. Now, I'm not going to do too much more in here because we're going to do it all with the paint. But what we will do is come down and I'm going to put in a few circles here. And lots of little shapes on this box. Again, not too much because we're going to do all this with the paint. But what I do want is a few shapes in here. And we've got just a couple, which, we'll, which we will do in as if, as, a, as if they were silver. Now, everything else we're going to do with when we come in to do the paints, except I want a little line there. And up here, we're going to put fingers as if they're curling around. The lightsaber there it's just three will do and then everything else we're going to do with the paints possibly just a little 
line there to help us. Now, when you pause, what you're going to see is the sketch, which is going to help us with the painting. So that, we've got all these lines, but they're what we're going to actually use in the painting. If you're not going to paint it, if you're going to use felt tips, then use these marks here with your felt tips. But stick with us anyway to watch the colours that we're going to use uh, when we come to painting it. watercolour pencils here. Now the red, the green I'm going to use for one tiny spot. Look, I'll show you this. I'm just going to start with that. He's got a green bit there. The red I'm going to use again on the lightsaber, but we've got a red bit there and I'm not going to change those to paint. I'm just going to leave them as they are. And then the most of it I'm going to be doing using this grey and black. So I'm starting with the grey. I'm not going to colour them, but I'm going to go inside, on, around the outside of all of these highlights that we put in. There, like that. And I'm actually going to do that side of the helmet because that's where the light's shining from in a bit of grey there too. And the other bits I'm going to do grey is I'm going to go around these as well. These shapes here, which is kind of like armour at the top underneath his cloak. And I am going to very quickly, making sure that my brush is clean, just turn some of these quickly so that the grey comes into all of it. Then I'm going to move on here to this square that's around it and I'm just going to go in, put lots of the marks in like that. And then taking a slightly damp brush and avoiding the red and the green, I'm just going to go like that so I've turned it a little bit. I like that. Now the key, the main bit of the colour on Darth Vader, because obviously he is dark, is going to be the black. And the bit that I want to be the darkest, blackest bits are going to be the eyes. So I'm going to put in a tiny highlight as if the light is shining off those black. And I am not going to turn that to paint. I'm just going to leave it really, really dark like that. Everything else will be turned. So I'm going to go to the dark side. Sorry, I couldn't help that. I'm going to go down there like that, over the top, over the top there, and around these shapes here, going really dark on that triangle, which is what makes it quite distinctive. Some bits colouring, some bits leaving. But I want to make sure I've left that. Right, if I put a bit of shading in there, because what I'm doing with this watercolour pencil is actually just putting in pigment. And then I'm gathering up that pigment there on my brush, going carefully around the highlights and everything else. I'm turning to paint, but I want to be able to keep the lines. And I really, really want those eyes to stay so that they stand out, even when everything else is black. You see, so I'm not touching those. I'm just going to leave those like that. Everything else, though, I want to make sure it's got a black sheen without losing the edge. And I even take that looks so pale. I'm going to put a little bit in there. And then when you want to lift more black for a different part, you can lift it from different parts that you've already turned or go back in and colour more. So that's the helmet done. Now, the, where I want the most black is the cape here. So I'm going around those edges like that, around that one, and I'm really heavily putting the pigment in until I come to the lightsaber. I'm not going to the edge of the lightsaber there. I'm going almost to the edge. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my red, go around the edge of the lightsaber like that, the same at the bottom, and the middle I'm going to do in yellow, and that's because I want this kind of orangey glow to it. So when I turn it, 
as soon as I, I start turning the yellow, but as soon as I bring the red in, let me see, so it's giving me this orangey red. And here's the bit where I want the glow. So that's just water, nothing else. And I'm gonna take, that's a bit too much water, water and take the edge up like that. So it's as if it's glowing around it. Water again. And loosen off so there's barely an edge there at all. It's not going quite how I wanted it. I'm going to lift, lift that to get the effect of an edge. Now, when we start turning the black here, you can see there's so much pigment on the page that the black is turning really well. I'll come down and I want it to kind of merge there. So it's a soft edge, as if the lightsaber is pushing out the blackness here. You see? And that's the lightsaber and the cape. Now on the other side, I'm just going to do the same with the cape on that side and there. But this time, although I'm going to go very dark here at the top, as I come further down, I want it really dark there. So I'm going to put loads of pigment on, but as I come further down, I don't want it as dark on the edge. I want it as if it's sort of coming off. So watch this bit will go very black here right down into there. You can see how easy it is to paint with these things because it really, the pigment just goes to the paper so well. Right, but now, water on my brush, I'm gonna take that so that it looks as if the light is coming through the edge of the cloak there. And I'm just gonna pause for a minute and let that dry. So now, we don't, if we just do the whole thing black, it'll all just merge. So try and get something that is a bit different here. This was my plan. We're going to go in there to the arm, take that down to about there. And instead of colouring it, we're going to do it as if it's just like that. And the same down this side. So lines instead here on the arms. And it separate, it'll separate the arms then from the cloak around it. I need a bit of grey on the handle of the lightsaber there. And coming up, I'm going to put in as if the hands are coming round like that. And with that one, I'm going to go lines down, but not crossing. I'm going to do the same in the legs. So here, I'm going to go like that. And there, on that leg, I'm going to go quite close together on that side. And then lines coming down. And you'll see those marks if you look at the um, either at the, the finished painting, or you can see them if you look at the the last phase, step three of the sketch. Now this bit here, because we've got that separation now from the cloak, I'm gonna do that dark, I'm gonna do that dark. And all these bits here as well, in between those silver bits, they'll be quite dark too around there. Right, let's see whether this is gonna work. I think it will. So I'm gonna go with my brush. It's got a bit of water on. I'm going to turn it like that, can you see? So the lines still show because there's plenty of water on my brush, but you can distinctly see the difference between the edge of the cloak and the arm coming down. And that's my aim there, let's put in those fingers. But here, these bits around there, I want them to be much darker than there. So it was a really, it's quite a simple idea, really, of how you do this, where you, you've you got so much black, you don't want him to look like it's just a mass of black. You want to get this idea of a body just about to go into major light. And that is our Darth Vader. loved that hope you go and have a go at both of them make sure you do and the key thing here is make sure you send us your pictures you can go onto our facebook account our twitter 
or our Instagram. So they're all Little Art School. If you type in Little Art School, you'll find them. Put your pictures in the comments. We love seeing them. We love sharing them. And we love feeling like we're all part of this community drawing together. So let's um, all come back on Monday when we've got, we've, the pets have been really popular. So we've got, we're, we're, we're coming towards the end of our time now. So we've got some special pet themes on Monday, a cat and a dog. So make sure you join us then. Mm -hmm.